Hello, is it coming yet? Yes, okay. So, I want to talk about something that's been happening in my house. Sometime last month, I'm not so sure. No, it wasn't last month, it was, it was in December. I remember it now. It was exactly on my brother's birthday. It was on December 16th. Um, okay, so here's what happened. Okay, well, before that, I, all of last year was a huge roller coaster for me. I would get into depression and I would get out and depressed and get out. I just felt like I had no purpose. You know, all that kind of depressing stuff. And <clears throat> I think I was in a really, really low place. And I felt like nothing was going good for me. And I started losing faith in God. I mean, I've always believed in God. I've always grown up being Catholic. I was baptized as Catholic and all that stuff. But I didn't really know much about anything else. Like, I just knew that I believed in this guy who did good things for us. But last year, I feel like my faith went downhill. And I just completely lost faith. Or not completely, but I was losing faith. A lot of faith. And I was appreciating a lot of things. Like, for instance, um, every time I go on bike rides, I didn't appreciate that. Not once I didn't get hit. Well, but I didn't appreciate that I was that I would come home safe every single time. I never said thank you. I just thought like, oh, I'm lucky. Nobody's ever gonna hurt me. I didn't appreciate any of that stuff. And anyways, so my brother's birthday. You guys know what I mentioned before that there's a ghost in my house, and it didn't bother me ever. So it was like, whatever, do your thing. But on the morning of my brother's birthday. Um, I woke up at 7, I think I went to the bathroom or something, and I came back and I went to bed. Sometime between 8 and 9, I was asleep. I had this nightmare where something climbed on my back, like it was invisible. And the, the dream was really, really messy, like I didn't understand a thing. Like I remember that I was eating something, and then every time I would leave the plate, I don't know why I kept leaving, like I was distracted and I wasn't eating, I would just leave my plate there. And every time I would come back, there was bugs on it, and then I would leave like get rid of the bugs I think in my dream I was still gonna eat it even after getting rid of the bugs I don't know it was a huge mess but after getting rid of that I just kept thinking it was my brother who was messing with me but then I was thinking he never he would never ever put bugs on my food but I was like whatever so um, in my dream I was barely getting my plate and I remember feeling this really really heavy pressure on my back like somebody threw a really really heavy blanket on my back it, wouldn't, it wasn't wrapped around my shoulder, so they weren't hugging me. But it was like really strong pressure. It was pushing me down. Like I remember standing there and I couldn't talk. Like I was trying to yell for my brother to help me or anybody because my dad was in my dream and I was sleeping in the shower so I couldn't call him. He wasn't going to hear me. And I remember trying to talk and my voice was just going into a whisper and I couldn't yell and I couldn't move because this heavy blanket thing was pushing me down so hard. And I was like going down like, like I couldn't even stand anymore. And I woke up. When I woke up, I woke up like, oh my gosh, what the hell was that? And every time I have a nightmare, I know that I'm 21 now, but I don't feel comfortable going back to sleep until I tell somebody. So I told my, um, no way, well, I didn't tell my dad right away. I just sat, I mean, I just laid there thinking like, oh my gosh, what was that? Why, why? I knew I was a ghost in my dream because I remember turn, trying to turn around and trying to look back and I didn't see anybody, but I still felt the huge pressure on my back. So when I woke up, I was laying on my stomach meaning that my back was open for somebody to really lay on it but it didn't occur to me until I went to my to my dad's room and then I told him I'm like I told him what I had jumped up and he was just like huh it's weird because he's a huge believer and goes and all that stuff so um I okay so yeah after I told him that and then that, it occurred to me I'm like wait I woke up in my stomach and he told me that day he's like oh somebody is laying on you and I was like I was freaked out and it didn't occur to me before that maybe it was happening in real life. In my dream I was invisible. When I woke up I was really laying on my stomach, meaning my back was open for anybody to lay on it. So it was creepy. And I came back to my room and I was just like contemplating if I should go back to sleep. I woke up like at eight ish something and usually we don't get up until ten, I know we're lazy, whatever. So I came back to my room and I just laid down and I remember being scared of laying on my stomach again because I just really didn't want to, I didn't want that to happen again. I was scared. And um, in my dream, 
when that was happening, I remember I started praying, and that's when I woke up, after I started praying. I was praying, I was just like, oh God, help me, help me, help me, help me. And then that's when I woke up, and then that's when, when I was here trying to go to sleep, that's when it came to me. Like, that's when the realization came to me, and I was like, you just help me. And this whole time, I've been a little brat, and I'm not appreciating that I'm alive every day, even with the little heart problem that I have and all that stuff, and I've been a brat. So, um, that's when things started changing. But, I mean, I still, I started going to church. That's one thing that happened. I haven't gone since last month, though, and I feel really bad because I was going every week. I was going once a week. Not on Sunday because I don't like crowds. But, I mean, I would go. That's the important thing that I still went. So, um... Okay, so after that happened, I was kind of scared to be alone in my room for a really long time, which is here. I'm alone, see? Oh, by the way, my bed wasn't here. It was, like, over there before. So my head was around there, my foot was over there, and I was laying there, and that's when all that stuff happened. So, um, <clears throat> kind of lost my train of thought here. Okay, so, okay, after that, I moved my bed here, right? Duh, you can see it first thing that happened so after that happened nothing happened for like a oh, nothing happened until this year sometime in January I was asleep and then I started waking up and I felt somebody holding my foot I could feel it and for some reason I thought my nephew was here because sometimes he stays over so I'm just like oh Jeremy's holding my foot and I remember moving my foot fast and I'm like oh I might kick him I don't want to move it too fast so I started moving it slower, and then whatever was holding my foot let go, and then I sat down, and I was like, oh, Jeremy's moving down. And then I sat up, and I was like, wait, Jeremy's not here. And I was like, oh my gosh, somebody was actually holding my foot. And I told my dad, too. So I was like, dad, somebody held my foot. And then he told me the same thing. He's like, pray. And by this time, I was praying every single night, and more, no, I was praying every single night. And, um... I was like, okay, what's, what's, what's this about? I was thinking maybe my grandma was holding me for trying to wake me up. But then again, my grandma didn't really like me. So I don't think she would care if I woke up or not. Or when I woke up, actually. So anyways. So, after that little encounter, somebody's been shaking my bed every day. Almost every day. They didn't shake it yesterday. But it feels like somebody puts their foot at the end right here and starts shaking it. Like, wake up! And it's just creepy. I don't like it. And then they start messing with me. Like, I always feel like somebody does this to me. Or, like, if my one time my shirt was like this. And I very clearly felt when it went like this. And I was like, okay. Yeah. So, what I was going to say is, I don't have problems with ghosts moving things around the house. But I don't like it when they get physical with me. Or anybody in my family. That's when it's like, borderline stop it it's creeping me out and ever since ever since this stuff has been happening about somebody holding my foot shaking my bed almost every day and i always check if it's an earthquake it's not an earthquake i always check i that's what i do first i first i'm like okay what could have caused this and then i start analyzing and brainstorming and all that stuff and i realized that nothing is happening that could have caused this it's just happening so that's when I realized that the ghost here is getting physical and I do not like it it's it scares me and it's made me really paranoid at night I can't fall asleep without a nightlight I mean before I didn't like sleeping in total darkness like I just slept with this little light night night light that it was really low but it was like it's fine let's see enough light but now I have to sleep with a brighter light in my room because I can't I get really paranoid and I wasn't like this before and now I'm getting more paranoid and that's why I sleep really really late I end up falling asleep like at 3 because 3, 4 the latest like 4.30 has been the latest because I'm laying there and let's say that I'm watching a video I'm not sleepy and I'm watching YouTube videos on the background I can see movements and then I always look and of course it's nothing because I never do my balcony open I have a huge balcony and anybody could just hop in and I'm not allowing that to happen so I always see 
movement like somebody's moving from over here to over here or something like that like I'm laying there and let's say I have my phone sticking out right there no not the phone the player this this is my player this is what I'm filming with and let's say I have it sticking out and I can see the movement on the background and it's freaking me out so I feel like I've been turning the light the night light that I have which is you can see it from here this light it's not that bright and you can't see it right now because it's like that's how bright I leave it like this is how bright I left it so imagine all the lights off it's pretty bright in here and that is no bueno I don't like being scared I don't like being paranoid I'm supposed to be the person who's not afraid of ghosts and ghosts are making me afraid well no I'm not afraid I just don't like physical ones those are the creepy ones and I've been praying every day, but I don't know what's going on. Why do they keep messing with me? Like, I don't know. I was th my dad told me that if it's still messing with you, even when you pray, even when you pray, it means that it's not a bad ghost. But it's like, okay, you could be a good ghost or a bad ghost. Just don't touch me. The mess around my bed, mess with that stuff, everything else. Just don't mess anywhere around me because I become paranoid. So, for instance, now I'm alone in my house. I'm not scared because I always hear noises, but I just don't want anybody touching me or flicking my hair or something. It's creepy. So that's what's happening here. That's why I have these dark circles because some of be messing with me. So I just wanted to say that. Just to keep it as sort of a diary. I'm free and remember it when I'm old. I'll be like, oh yeah, I remember that ghost. I don't know who it is. I assume it's a boy. Oh, and I also see this doggy all the time. It's like a white or brown. No, it's like a brown and black dog. But my dad saw something white one time, but that's a whole other story. But yeah, like, um, let's say I'm standing here doing this. And then I would just see it, like, run from the corner of my eye. And I'm like, and it's gone. But I don't think that's the one that's messing with me. And he's not really doing anything to me. He's just like running around the house. I don't know where he came from. But that's not the problem here. Anyways. Yeah. I should probably cut this because it's really, really long. And it's just me talking about ghosts and God. I should probably put the title up here. So subscribe and like or comment. Whatever you want to do with it. Except like it because I don't know. I don't think I should be flagged. Okay, bye.